Unbelievable photos captured the aftermath of an early morning explosion that left one person dead inside a home in Caledon. The house collapsed and reduced to rubble, and around a dozen surrounding homes were immediately evacuated. This was a significant explosion um, that will have to be thoroughly inv investigated. This was a significant explosion um, that will have to be thoroughly inv investigated. And just moments ago, the OPP have identified that victim as 54-year-old Joseph Westcott. Good evening. The blast could be felt throughout this Calden Village neighborhood. Uh, tonight, about 30 to 35 residents can't come home, and it's still a very much active investigation here uh, with several red road closures near here, Ontario, on Charleston Side Road. We heard from residents and spoke to some of those neighbors who were evacuated who said they had no time to grab anything, and they were told in their pajamas to just leave their homes. Uh, so, so as I mentioned, several streets have been closed uh, in this vicinity. We really haven't been able to get too close to this home or have seen it firsthand. We've only been able to see uh, some of the photos we've already shared with you. Off, uh, officials have not determined the cause of the blast, but neighbors do tell us uh, that it was only one man who lived at that home. I just heard this blast and uh, it woke us up. About 6.15 this morning, I heard a humongous bang. Did you get any damage uh, to your home? Yeah, we are, our soffits of our roof is all busted up. Um, we have a broken window, and that's the extent of it. And a door is a little bit damaged, but... The home that exploded was on Maple Grove Road. Not much is known about the cause of the blast, but it rocked residents several streets down. Homes next door suffered damages, and there were also impacts on adjacent streets. It was, it was just shaking. I just heard things in the house banging, and it was just, again, it was like, it was like an earthquake. Everything like fell off my bed, like some of the like pictures, my chalkboard on my wall, everything just fell down. It was absolute panic. I ran downstairs to find my, my sliding door right through my kitchen table, and then my outside door was on the floor as well. Uh, my back door was wide open, my garage door was broken as well, uh, so we didn't know what happened at first, that was burglary, but then uh, we went outside and noticed all the neighbors were outside. Officials were initially concerned about a possible gas leak, eventually shutting off both gas and hydro in the immediate area. It's unknown yet just how powerful this blast was, with officials only saying it was significant and unlike anything some of them have seen before. There's some debris that's up into the uh, up into the trees on several roofs in the areas. It's spread out over a, a couple of streets, um, so that was our, our concerns on arrival. And the homes that were immediately adjacent uh, to the house in, in, in question, uh, of course, the windows, front doors, garage doors have have been blown off, uh, as well as checking the structural integrity to see if the home is actually physically shifted off the uh, the foundation. The impact, and you know, a couple of days from now, just thinking about it, it's going to shake and uh, and jar everybody. But it sure has brought our community together, and we're known for that. Residents left shocked, not knowing what caused this explosion. Answers that may come in the coming days, as both the fire marshal and the Caledon OPP are conducting investigations. It's crazy. I mean, I would never imagine this happening in our neighborhood. And officials believe no one else was in that home at the time of the blast, and they tell us no other injuries have been reported. About an hour ago, we also saw a drone uh, flying over the affected areas. Officials say that's just for them to get a better idea of just uh, how far this blast traveled. Uh, the Calden OPP also telling us they expect this investigation to last uh, in the next coming days, and so the street closures in effect most likely in the next coming days also. Head on City News will tell you more about the affected individuals who were forced to evacuate this evening.